Hello, hello, it's Chris Hayes with ChrisHayesTeam.com here, and we have another reactionary video. We had a request for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, so... They gotta look for shit on the walls, because that's what they do. When they know they're getting thrown out of a house, they smear feces all over the wall. Really? Well, yes. they didn't do that here. This is a pretty nice house, Frank. I have never experienced anything like feces on the wall. On a house that's been vacated quickly, you know, it's not unusual that it'll be in disarray. I've actually heard stories about sellers stripping out the copper in a house. They'll leave it in a disarray, maybe where uh, it's not cleaned up and uh, they may take the blinds and the appliances, those kinds of things. I believe they Jeez. left all this stuff in the house. I mean, what's the deal? Do we, do we have to burn it? Hey, How's get the work? out of our house! Jesus! There's people here! Squatters! We're not squatters! This is our house! What do you mean your house? I bought this house! We own this you house! You didn't buy it from us, you bought it from the bank. We didn't sell it. Oh, look! We bought it from them because they foreclosed on your Yeah, 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 yeah. you got proof? Proof? What are you talking about, proof? A deed, paperwork, yeah. go get your proof. proof. Bring it back here, we'll look at the yeah. paperwork. Yeah. Is that what you yeah. want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll give you proof. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let me interject here. We've got some folks that owned a house and it apparently was foreclosed on them and the bank put it up for auction so that they could sell it off and reap their repayment back for their loan that uh, is against the property being collateralized with the property. This is uh, not something I've personally had to experience, but I've heard stories about this. And so they walk into the property they just bought, purchased at auction. And oh my goodness, the previous owners are there and uh, my heart goes out to them because here, the, here it is, these folks are going through these financial crises and um, properties being taken away from them. And um, you've got a new investor that is taking over the property. So can you, you have to empathize with this. I've had a foreclosure in my life, but I wasn't in the property whenever it was taken over. Um, all right, let's, let's see what these guys do. Maybe we could sell the house ourselves, you know, save the 5%. What do realtors do anyway? They pop on a blazer, they walk people through a house? We can do that. Mm, Mac, the real estate business is something that takes a lot of style and a lot of finesse. And that's something that the two of us both have in spades. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so these guys are thinking, rather than call a professional, let's see what we can do about taking care of this ourselves. I get that. Sometimes people have the time or they have the wherewithal, maybe they have the experience uh, to sell their own property. Oftentimes when you're dealing with big ticket items, it's, you know, if you're certainly gonna take it on your own, get well educated. I always counsel my clients, whether you decide to hire a professional or to go at it your, on your own, be sure that you educate yourself, right? Because the quality of your decision making is only as good as the information you have when making a decision. So there's a lot involved with going for sale by owners. There's contracts, there's negotiations, there's disclosures and there are lawsuits that occur in real estate. So if you don't dot an I or you miss crossing that T, you're putting yourself at jeopardy for the equity that you have in the property. So let's see what these guys do. And these guys are calling, they're holding themselves out as real estate agents. Well, you can't hold yourself out as a real estate agent or having a realty company without being licensed in the state you're in. They're treading down the wrong way. Doesn't mean a for sale by owner has to have a real estate license. It simply means holding yourself as a realty company is not legal. Ready? Oh, here we go. Hi, Hi how hey, are you? How you doing? We're uh, here to look at the house. Of course, yeah, come on in. Hi, I'm, I'm Hugh Honey. How you doing? Good, this Great. is my associate Vic Vinegar. Hi, Ted. Hi. And we are here to show you this house. Mm. I have never kissed a client's hand upon meeting them. No! Oh, you guys are the baby! Just go. Go. All right, we'll be in touch. <laughs> that was amazing, bro. You think that's gonna work? Bro, it already did work. You heard the skirt. She said, yes, I will buy this house. That is a binding verbal contract. Now I heard it, you heard it, and that pussy husband of hers heard it too. So in real estate, there's a key phrase that says it doesn't count unless it's in writing. So in other words, oral contracts don't count in real estate. And these guys, needless to say, are, are doing these hardcore pressure tactics. And that's just not how real estate works. They're doing like a car tactic, perhaps. Very intimidating. And um, uh, this is nail scratching for me. By the way, you don't have to use expletives to be in real estate. 
Hey, yeah. how'd it go? Sold it. Sold the house. Sold it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Just get another house, flip it over, make some cash. Yeah, you know, it's not really the cash that I care about anymore. It's the thrill of the sale that I'm responding You're driven to. by the thrill of the sale. The thrill of the sale. It is real. You know, there's nothing more rewarding than to help people, for example, helping a seller solve a problem with getting rid of their house, because that's typically what it is. They need to get rid of this house in order to qualify to buy the next house, or they got to get rid of this house because they're already in Dallas, something along those lines. And a boy, it's, it's, it's certainly a thrill and a wonderful feeling when you see a buyer, just their eyes light up when they go, oh my goodness, this is the place where we can call home for the next few years in our life. And they start planning furniture and planning on paint colors or where little junior or little juniorette's rooms are gonna be, where they're gonna do the barbecues and those kinds of things. So yes, it's a very rewarding experience helping buyers buy and sell or sell. Oh! <laughs> Abort! Abort! Do not buy this house! There's a damn gate! Oh. I just got done with that lawyer. He threatened to sue me. What? Why? What? I had those kids paint in their room. And then I told them to go down, rip some copper pipes out. Their little hands got all bloody, big deal. And I, I had to give them the house to settle the suit. Okay, in summary, everything's wrong with this. You can't force people to get out of their house. You can't force child labor laws. You can't hold yourself out as a real estate agent without a license. You can't threaten your clients like that. You can't force them into a sale. You're gonna end up with, uh, with remorse <laughs> and a lawsuit or some sort of ethics issue with you. These guys are bad people. They give real estate agents and real estate agency a bad name. So let's just be good people.